Before we set about creating ACORN, we spoke to a lot of families, speech therapists and teachers about what, if anything, they found most frustrating about the assistive speech technology that was available to them. Far and away, the most common complaint about every assisted communications device or app was the need for children to hunt and peck for the words they need to communicate. Our idea was what if rather than expecting a child to conform to a computer, we design a solution with the child at the centre and where the technology adapts to his or her individual needs and abilities. When you first launch Acorn, there can be no doubt it looks very different. It's not just for appearances. Acorn is designed with children in mind, not just to be more engaging so they'll want to use it, but with a layout that considers the needs of little people with small fingers and developing motor skills, and with a user interface that is completely native to iOS, not something ported from the PC or older AAC devices. It allows us to take full advantage of the advanced features of the iPad. Everything from the large buttons and colourful graphics make words easier to identify and is more child-friendly. But that doesn't solve the issues relating to discovering words. So here's what we've done. Firstly, as you look through categories, it's very easy to toggle between viewing groups of words. Using multi-touch, we can quickly scroll through all the words. For kids today, used to games on the iPad, it's what they expect and a step in the right direction. But what if we have hundreds of words? In that case, we've added a real-time search field that helps you quickly hone in on the word you want. Even if you can't spell, start with a letter and with each subsequent letter you tap, Acorn filters down till you see the word you're looking for. If it's not there, you can even create a new word using Acorn's built-in word creation tools. But even this isn't really enough of an improvement for us. It's quite a bit quicker to find the words you want, but what if you can't spell, or you're a child who doesn't know which word you want? And for a lot of kids, that's definitely the case. The whole idea of a category screen, this is really just a jumping off point. What really sets Acorn apart, that no other app has ever attempted, is this right here. When a child has something they want to say, they simply tap here, or on any of the categories or any word, and the screen is transformed into something entirely more suited to the iPad and today's children. If they want to say, for example, I love you, Dad, they tap the word I, and as you see, branches suggesting the next possible word in the sentence appear. Tap on any of the options, and it's spoken, leading in turn to more options. And from there, it's a very simple matter to follow the path and build and speak our sentence. I love you, Dad. Unquestionably faster, but perhaps even more impressive, Acorn learns to predict what your child might want to say, based on how he or she uses it. The words it presents aren't arbitrary or random, they reflect the information you have fed it. Out of the box, Acorn's like a newborn, so you might for example go to say, I am tired, and discover tired isn't showing. No problem. You model it one time and Acorn learns, oh hey, am and tired are words that go together. Without saving it or arranging the words in a grid or folder, the very next time you start down the road of I am, tired is going to show as one of the possible words your child might want to say. Working in this manner, it's now less about where we place words in a folder or a grid and more about modeling the communication style and behavior we want for our child. Sentences can be short and simple. Want. Apple. Or highly complex. Excuse me, can I have an apple, please? It's really up to you to determine how you want to use it and what's appropriate based on your child's abilities. Acorn empowers children by expanding their vocab and in many cases enabling them to express themselves at or near the speed of most other children. And this is incredibly exciting because where it will take a child in a month, six months, two years is something we can't wait to hear.